All right, guys, today I'm at the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center in West Louisville because today I'm going to be covering the Derby City Wrestling Show. Wrestling is back finally over here on the west side of Louisville, and uh, I'm going to be checking it out. Looking forward to it. You guys might remember I was at Squared Circle Expo last weekend, covered their event, and uh, Derby City Wrestling has invited me to come out here to cover this event, and I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. This is a pretty big facility, by the way. I'm gonna show you guys. We'll uh, we'll walk around here in just a bit, but uh, this is a very massive, massive facility. You guys can see here, pretty big. So, looking forward to uh, covering a brand new wrestling promotion here in Louisville. And uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's take a look outside first before we head inside. All right, so you guys can see behind me here, I'm at the uh, Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center here in Western Louisville. It's a massive, massive facility. And it looks to be a really great facility for a wrestling event. Got a few folks right there waiting in line for to today's event. And uh, this is a big, massive building, a huge, huge field out here as well. And uh, they got a track and field right there. Uh, right, right there, you guys can see it. But yeah, we got some people waiting in line to go catch a really great wrestling event. And I'm super excited because I've been a big fan of professional wrestling for a very long time. Like, I grew up watching professional wrestling wrestling in the uh, late 80s, you know, early 90s, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior. I was a big Ricky the Dragon Steamboat guy, but I'm looking forward to uh, covering this event today and uh, hopefully getting to talk to some of the talent here as well. So this is just the uh, track and field out here that's next to the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. You can see out here, big field. Over there is where I was at <laughs> earlier. You got some, like I said, some people waiting in line. Over here, you've got the uh, building itself. This is, this is a massive complex, and uh, I've lived down by Louisville for about three years now. I've not actually been here, so as I said before, I'm looking forward to checking out and seeing what you know Derby City Wrestling has to offer. All right, I wanted to give you guys another view of the uh, facility here. And something I thought was really interesting is they have a Thornton's here. That's a gas station. What the heck? It's really weird to see a, a Thornton's that doesn't have pumps. That's that's incredibly weird. But yeah, they have a Thornton's gas station here. So I think that's kind of um, interesting. But, uh, you know, but yeah, huge facility here out in West Louisville. And uh, it's a very windy day. It's a very windy day. Tell it's pretty, uh, pretty bad. It's gonna, like it's gonna come down. <laughs> but uh, thankfully, we won't have to be too concerned about that. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be outside. Or, I'm sorry, inside rather. <laughs> All right, what's going on, guys? I got Eric Montgomery, the re Years. our wrestling expert himself. We're inside the uh, Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center for some. DCW, DCW baby, how's it going, Eric? How you doing today, man? Yeah, pretty good. This is my 20th anniversary weekend, so hey, what better way to celebrate with you at Derby City Wrestling? 20th anniversary celebrating what exactly? DJing. That's right. All right, man. And being the wrestling business. That's right. And uh, so we're gonna be uh, covering some Derby City Wrestling uh, tonight. We're gonna be. I'm gonna take some video and some photos. We're gonna interview a few of the talent right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go, baby. All right, guys, I am here at Derby City Wrestling, getting ready to talk to local legend himself, Aaron Williams. Aaron, how you doing, man? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing good, man. It's good to finally be out here cover a uh, DCW show. How you feeling about Derby City Wrestling, man? Oh, I man, so so far, so good. It's uh, it uh, seems to be a great place and uh, a lot of potential, ton of potential. Uh, really excited to be a part of it. Um, obviously, if, if you been to there's only been two shows is only the second one um but it looks great uh everybody's very professional it's 
I think it's going to be a really, really good thing for the city, a mm -hmm. uh, good thing for the Midwest in general, honestly. So I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm really excited to be a part of it. Yeah, I know. It's like the first time we've had wrestling here in West Louisville. It's been a long time, right? Like, I think it's been a very, very, very long time since they've had wrestling out here. I want to talk a little bit about your, your career as a wrestler, man. You've been doing this for a long time now, man. Uh, where did you get your start in wrestling? Man? Uh, I started in Price Hill, uh, training under uh, a gentleman by the name of Tom Giamonti. And then from there, I ended up in uh, Cody Hawk's backyard with Heartland oh, yeah. Wrestling Association. Okay. And and I trained under him for a while. Um, and that's uh, that's and then Mario showed up and it was I know we got Mario freaking crazy. <laughs> you know, he taught me how to do the double stomp. It was awesome. Hey, that's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like uh, I spent a ton of time with Cody, got to train with yeah. some incredible people like Nigel McGinnis, Chad Collier, Matt Stryker with the Y, not the I. Um, or I, not the Y, whichever one, unibrow striker. We know. Yeah, we know. We definitely you know, know what you're talking you about. Yeah, we know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John Moxley, obviously, Sammy Callahan, guys like that. Yeah. Um, so, um, from there, it just kind of kept, you know, uh, mm -hmm. stacking up and doing indies all over the, the yeah, States yeah. and everything like that. And, uh, this is actually my first opportunity to really be on TV uh, on a good example here, like, uh, with Derby city. So that's, uh, that's another yeah. exciting thing about it. That's great. Um, Spent a lot of time here in the uh, Kentuckiana um, area. I know. I remember you you did some shows at Grindhouse Pro yeah, Wrestling yeah. for a while. That's how I kind of got to know you yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. a wrestler there. And uh, what do you think about this facility? I just got in here. I've never been down here before. What about what do you think about this facility? Tell, what do you think about this place, man? This place is gorgeous. I, I had never been here up until uh, this, too. And that, this room we're in right now, you can't see it because you're looking at our beautiful faces. But there's a rock climbing wall right behind the camera and i just noticed that i didn't, didn't see that before and i'm probably gonna try and rock climb here in a few minutes uh because you know dead ringer got to do dead ringer things i was, I was gonna say i i'm not as in uh, great of a shape as someone like yourself <laughs> so i mean if i attempted to do that i might uh, give myself a hernia yeah, or two you about, know what i mean about, <laughs> fun here yeah you know like, i don't want to go to a local yeah. medical facility you know yeah, what i'm saying let me, let, let me send people there you ain't got to go there that's very true that's true um you know you uh, you had your debut match here with a moose mm -hmm. right i know that didn't go out you know it was, didn't, out didn't, didn't turn out in your favor what was it like to work with a guy like him though man he's a big impact wrestling guy former impact wrestling champion yep. what was it like to work with someone such as himself i know you've had a fair share of working with some great people in your time but what was it like working with moose man uh yeah like I, i've got to work with a, a lot of fantastic names over the years and everything but uh moose was interesting man he's he's <laughs> such a such he's a, big a huge dude. guy he's a former nfl lineman right yeah, like i did not like because i mean i'm on the indies i'm kind of considered a bigger guy and i'm like yeah yeah shoot brother come on <laughs> like hey uh all right uh, well let's just let's try to tackle this That's as best up. we possibly can and yeah. um i tried and maybe he was just a little bit quicker on the hiccup because although yeah. he's he's big he's pretty quick too um yeah. so you know that's what's crazy too because like my wife just got into wrestling oh, she yeah. literally just became a fan of pro wrestling oh, right wow. and she play? Uh, we've been married almost three years now, oh, wow. or actually three years now. I better get it right because she'll watch this video yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, I'll get a she'll give me a pile driver or something. No, but <laughs> no, but uh, she even like says you know guys like watching like Willie Mack who is also part of GCW too. The athleticism is incredible that you yeah, guys yeah. put on. I mean, her not really having got into it, watching guys like you. She watched your match with Moose, by the way, with yeah. me. You know, and uh, you guys are just super athletic on all the things you do. So so big respect to what you guys. Thank you accomplish in, in and out of the ring of course too though hard work you guys put into this man um i gotta ask you one more question too real quick here if you could work with anybody past or present who would it be brother i gotta give you one anybody i mean sean michaels for real oh yeah dude yeah gotta be sean gotta be sean hbk yeah yeah, yeah I mean, dude. I it's, I mean, there's a lot of answers. There really is. But Sean's <laughs> yeah. probably probably number one. Uh, Muda just retired. That'd be in there. Uh, RBD yeah. would be one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, brother. That's a big question, right? Yeah, That's a, there's really so is. many. Like, there's like, so many. You said it the way my mind works. It just like you just a like line of thirty. No. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, gosh. All right. Well, who's first? All right, first. That's what's up, man. What is it? So, uh, you know, what is it that drew you to Derby City Wrestling? Um, well, like, uh, of course, opportunity, anytime that, uh, you know, you're a wrestler and you're, you're grinding away. Like I have for years, you look for any opportunity you can to showcase 
what you got. Like, uh, and for a long time, people have been saying, <laughs> I get messages all the time. Like, man, why aren't you signed to this place or that place or whatever? And well, chance, the truth is, is because opportunities don't come along all the time. Mm -hmm. So an opportunity arose and I, I, I had the opportunity to jump on it. So Shoot, I mean, man, especially be, for a brand new promotion yeah, here, that's yeah, like it, a great time to get to the door, right? Oh, absolutely. And there's a lineage to it as well. I mean, you got like the uh, the championship wrestling from Hollywood is connected to here. Uh, Memphis is connected to here. There's that's right. You know. A lot of places connected to this. So it's not just it is a new budding promotion for the Midwest, for Kentucky, but it's also it's going to be a branch to something even bigger and something that's going to continue to grow. So mm -hmm. it's uh it's really exciting. It's really uh, awesome. I'm, I'm yeah. just incredibly overjoyed yeah. to to be a part of it. You guys got to come out here and watch my man Aaron Williams come out here and put, put in the work. That's what he does. He does it for you guys too, the fans. Right. You know what I mean? But and come I, out here. And I like to hurt. People. And he loves to hurt. People. I, I mean, you know, what, what kind? It's a great. It's a what kind of job do you get where you get to literally hurt people? That's like a uh, shoot, man. Like uh, I've worked in retail. You know, many people I wish I could. You oh, know, brother. I did it for twenty years. I wish I could have put the hurt on someone. Do you, do you need a hug? I, I, I might need a hug. I'm a chipsman guy too. All right, so. let's go. Let's do it. That's a good hug. It's a good hug. Yeah, it's a good hugger. Good hugger. All right, uh, but thanks, Aaron, man, for your time today. Oh, man, I appreciate it, guys. Come out here and see him, man. You got to see him put the work in. All right, guys. Brian Daniels here, and I'm here with the Pitbull Omega D. What's up? How you doing, man? I'm good, baby. I'm good. You know, uh, got off the road from West Virginia last night about three o'clock in the morning. Got a couple hours of rest. Had to get up, hit the gym, get prepared for the day, man. Big show, big fight feel. You know. No rest for the weary. That's right. Now, we know you're no stranger to this part of town, especially here in Louisville. Yes, How's it feel to be uh, here doing a pro another a, a new promotion here in Louisville? Dude, it was incredible. I mean, to be able to get on the ground floor of anything, like especially with something like this. I mean, y'all y'all stand for the show, right? Oh, we, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, y'all going to go out there. You're going to see the production. You're going to see the lights. You're going to see the setup. And, I mean, yes. personally, I've never been able to be a part of anything like this. So, to be able to get on oh, the ground cool. floor of something this awesome anyway, incredible. But then to be able to do it in my own backyard, like, man, I grew up 10, 15 minutes down the street from here. Wow. You know, I went to elementary school at Foster, which is, you know, seven minutes down the road. Like, it's literally right in my own backyard. So, to be able to be a part of something like this coming home, like, it's, yeah. you can't ask for too much more than that, yeah, man. man. No, that's, you're absolutely right, and and honestly, you don't really see too many, I guess, indie promotions that have that that good production. I actually just caught their their debut episode yeah. uh, right before I came over here. I was checking it out, and it's 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 good. It looks good. good. It looks good. I want to ask you this though, because I was talking to Aaron Williams earlier. What do you think about this facility, man? Like, what, facility, man, man, what about this? I had heard, I might have heard incredible things about the Norton Sports Complex uh, from its inception. You know, uh, they do a lot of the local track meets here. Um, a lot of sports conferences, you know, um, since it's open have been held here. Uh, I think literally the night before the debut show for Derby City, uh, Coach Prime uh, was here doing a leadership summit. So, I mean, you, you know, you got, you know, Coach Prime and then the very next day, you know, the debut show of Derby City Wrestling. I mean, it's yeah. just it's, it's been such a cool place, man. Yeah. And like you said, man, I know you're no stranger to wrestling scene. You've been doing this for a minute now. Right. And and to get in on the, like you said, the ground floor of a brand new promotion, that's that's a great way to kick it off. Right. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, uh, let's get let's get a little bit of history. You know, tell what to. How did you get into wrestling? What made you decide to want to be a professional wrestler? Man, I've been a wrestling fan literally my whole life. Like, I don't know what most people's earliest memories in life are. Mine is being about three years old, sitting on my big sister's lap watching Monday Night Raw. And it's like, I'm the baby in my family. You know, I'm, I, I got four older sisters. They're five to a whole lot older than me. I, I ain't going <laughs> to. So, Samik, if you're out there watching, I ain't going to age drop you, but let's just say they're a little bit older than me. <laughs> uh, so, like, you know, I was born in 93, so I was an Attitude Era baby. But, you know, my older sisters, they were around for the days of, like, you know, the territories and like that. So I was watching their tapes of, like, you know, Mr. Perfect and Nick Bockwinkle and yeah. Junkyard Dog and, you know, some of these dudes. So it was like this nice little, like, blend of the old school wrestling with the yes. stuff I was seeing then. Yeah. And it's like I got a little bit older, you know, I was I was always into sports, but then I was always into, like, theater. You know, I was I, I played basketball. I got into MMA later in life, you know, but at the same time. I was a musician. I did band. I did theater. Okay. And that's all that's all pro wrestling is, man. You take a little bit of physicality. You take a little bit of drama. You put it together, and it turns into the best show in the world. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what it's like for me. I, I'm, in, I'm in a little bit of a different era from you. I grew up in the 80s and got to see, like, Hulk Hogan and, and uh, Ultimate Warrior. Ricky, Ste Ricky Steamboat was a personal favorite of mine. But, um, but yeah, it, it's, it's not just about telling a great story. 
but it's also the uh, athleticism that you guys have too as well. I mean, you know, um, there's a lot that people can say about pro wrestling, you know, the negatives, but I mean, they probably haven't experienced it, right? Exactly. And so uh, I myself have not wrestled, but just to, but I have been in the front row of many shows to see what you guys, man, do. And it's, it's incredible the, the the fact that you guys do put your bodies online. That's 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 real, yeah. right? And yeah. and it's it's crazy, man. I've seen football injuries. I've seen powerlifting injuries. I've yeah. seen MMA injuries. Yeah, I've never seen as gruesome of injuries in my Dude, life. Right, can happen in a pro yes. wrestling ring. You know, we we we've seen guys, you know, pectoral turn completely off the shoulder, uh, spinal yep. cord completely messed up. We yeah. we all remember what was it? Uh, ninety nine, two thousand. Sid Vicious coming off the top rope. Compound fracture. Yes. Oh man. I mean, some for for you know uh, for, for for such a controversial you know sporting event has the most gruesome injuries in the world. And and that's the thing is like you know uh, f- there are some people that they 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 still there's still those you know those stigmas right about pro wrestling, yeah. and it's like man, how can you sit there and watch that and say those things, man? You guys are really you're you're it's just like you know you guys are colliding with each other in the ring. You guys are putting on these moves, man. And uh, I've I used to do some like backyard stuff. That stuff doesn't doesn't feel quite good. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, I mean it's, you guys are really doing this. I stuff. mean, we're in the year what 2023. Yes, uh, Draw still has very little feeling below his neck from a botched move that he had taken a million times. That D'Lo had done a million times. One mistake, yeah. the man can never walk again. Yeah, you know. So anybody out there who's still you know trying to run them stigmas, who still want to exactly. tell them, mess about pro wrestling, they can take it and yeah. shove it. Exactly. You know, a, a man's life was changed forever. People have died in wrestling rings. Yes. So they can take them stigmas and shove it. Exactly. Let's go ahead and spin to a little bit more of a positive note. I wanna, I'm going to ask everybody that I'm talking to today this question. I'm going to ask you the same one. You grew up in a little bit of a different era than I did. If you could work with any one person, past or present, who would it be? Kenta Kabashi. Kenta Kabashi? Kenta oh, Kabashi. 100%, not even a second thought. Uh, you know, if, if I had to give a rundown of a few, Kenta Kabashi, Kurt Angle. Would have been oh yeah amazing to have been able to work with uh, Harley Race would have been great Junkyard Dog would have been great um, of some of the guys still out there if I can get a match out if I could get a match with Samoa Joe before he decided to call Ooh, it a day okay that would be absolutely incredible uh, one of my favorite guys on the Indies right now um, a guy from down south Joseph Black Cloud uh, Joe Black okay. you know one of the hardest okay. hitting son of guns like in the world man I, w- I would love to be able to mix it up with Joe Black. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's good to hear, man. You, you gave off some really good names there, man. Like Samoa Joe, he's a hell of a worker, too. Oh, yeah. that, that, that guy is a machine. Exactly. Like, like for real. Um, so let's talk more about, you know, why we're here to begin with, right? We're here for Derby City Wrestling. Uh, what is it that people should know about this wrestling promotion that makes it, that kind of sets it apart from others that you've been a part of? What should they know about Derby City that sets it apart? Man, everybody here brings 100% every single time they step. I mean, not even step into the building. They bring 100% every single time they pull into the parking lot. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, when, when we did the first TV tapings, me and my partner Alan rode up together. You know, we pulled up to the building. They're back in the production truck in. We're seeing them carrying all these LED screens and set up lighting towers. Yeah. And we look at each other and we're like, Bro, we in the right place. Like we we don't belong here. Like this, <laughs> this ain't where you know, this ain't where we supposed to right. be at. And I mean, right. yeah. just, the the production value alone was incredible. You know, yeah. when, when the UWN said they was gonna set up shop in Louisville, they did not half step it. Like they brought it full force. And anybody who came at night, you know, brought a hundred percent of what they could yeah. and left it in the ring. The crowd was hot the whole night. That's like right. there there is absolutely no half stepping with Derby City Wrestling. Everybody brings the A game. Everybody brings the hundred every single time. Well, that's exactly how it should be. Guys, if you're not here tonight, you definitely got to come out here for a show. You guys can go see the Pitbull Omega D. This man is a hell of an entertainer. You don't want to miss his work. You definitely don't want to miss the fine work of all the people here at Derby City Wrestling. Thank you for taking the time Absolutely. to chat with me here today. I appreciate that. And uh, we'll see you guys, man. Get ready. All right. I am here with Ted McNaylor. Ted, it's good to see you here. And uh, he's he's here for he's der- part of Derby City Wrestling. Yes, sir. And so let's just tell the fine folks watching this on YouTube right now. Uh, how did you get into being with Derby City Wrestling? Well, you know, I I know a lot of people in the Louisville area, and I got a phone call literally just days before the last taping, and said, "Ted, think you can lace up the boots one more time?" And I'll be honest, I wasn't sure, but in wrestling, you just never say no. So 
I said yes, and you figured the rest out. So here I am Amen. now the second set of tapings for Derby City Wrestling, and yeah. I'm, I'm ready to make a full blown comeback, man. That's what's up, man. So yeah, you're no obviously he's no stranger to the wrestling business. This man has been everywhere pretty much, right? You've you've been you were in the background at an AEW show with uh, next yeah. to, next to uh, uh, Brian Pillman Jr.'s wife. Was, I saw that. Um, Tell us how you got your start in the wrestling business, man. It's funny you mention that because actually it was 19 years this month that I actually started training. I started uh, at hey, congratulations. the old Davis Arena, Mike Mondo. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mikey from the Spirit Squad is my original trainer. Oh, he, nice. He broke me in uh, later on with Hustler Rip Rogers, also a member of the uh, Derby City Wrestling uh, team. Yes. And uh, just cut my teeth that way. And just, you know, every every time they would beat me up in practice, I'd come back again. And they said, you know, well, if this kid's going to keep coming back, I guess we got to give him a, a shot. So, <laughs> you know. So they just were like, I hope he doesn't come back. And he just kept coming back. Yeah, yeah coming back. Yeah, You're like, I'm, I'm not leaving yet. Yeah. Oh, that's a good way to be. That's a good way to be, though, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Persistence I, pays I say off. Anyone that wants to be part of wrestling, you know, just know. It's not always fun and your body's going to hurt. But you know what? If you keep showing up and keep getting better and keep yeah. coming back, dreams can come true. That's what's up, man. That's a great attitude. That's that's the attitude. If you're going to be in this business, that's, that's one you should have right there. That's good. It's good to hear. Let's talk about Louisville. I know you're yeah. from the area. Um, How does it feel to be a part of a, a new up-and-coming promotion here, especially in West Louisville? I think it's very cool, man. I always thought wrestling or uh, Louisville was a great wrestling town. Absolutely. Uh, I grew up out in, in Fern Creek on the other side of town. Okay. and. I just know that there's so many communities here that want wrestling. It seems like, you know, in Louisville, there's only like one area of town that you go to for wrestling. So for sure, yeah. You can go to the other side of town and get some more great wrestling. I just think mm -hmm. more wrestling, the better. So the more wrestling you got in the area, yes. the more people are going to be excited about it. And yes. I'm just excited that more wrestling is coming to town because yeah. that's a good thing for anyone in the wrestling community, whether yeah. you're a fan or a wrestler. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's, it's always good to have – a variety right Absolutely. i mean you want to give the fans a variety yep. you know it shouldn't just be like going to the grocery store and you only can buy one one uh, one thing of coffee right that's no that's you got to have variety and uh what is what are some of the challenges that you have faced over your journey of being a wrestler man what's what's been some of the hardest parts for you uh throughout your wrestling career I mean, it's always hard when you're not, you know, six foot four and 300 pounds. You always have to kind of <laughs> fight from the yeah. bottom up, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, but I'd say probably my biggest challenge was this most recent comeback. A lot of people may or may not know in October of uh, 2021, I was in a really bad car accident. I didn't even know if I was going to be able to walk. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Again. Yeah. Uh, I broke seven of my ribs. I, I broke my arm, broke my hand, uh, sh shattered my heel. Uh, I literally have a, a metal bar in my arm. and a, I see the scar a, there. Metal, metal screwed my heel. Yeah. And uh, for months, I was still walking on a cane and finally got to the point where I was able to walk normal. So, you know, to go from not being able to know if I'm going to be able to ever walk normal again to being able to get back in the wrestling ring has been a just a, a huge transition for me. But it, it yeah. shows me, though, that no matter what you want, as long as you go after it, you can make, definitely make anything happen. That's good, man. I, that's 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 amazing. Like you just hearing that. And that's what I love about this business, too, for me. I'm uh, I, I cover a whole lot of different things, not just professional wrestling. And for me, I love to hear your story, your journey, and to, that you didn't allow yourself to let that end your career and to right. come back from that. That's just an awesome thing. That gives me kind of chills just thinking about that. I love that. Um, I got to ask you a question though. I'm, I've been asking everybody so far this, so it might be might be a hard one. Right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I know you grew up probably about the same era as I did. Grew up in the '80s. 80s yep. okay yep. all right all right if you could work with anybody past or present who would it be that is a tough question i mean the quick answer i want to say is because he's one of the all-around best is Shawn michaels but uh, i'd yeah. say someone that influenced me a lot in my career if i could have a man for the minutes prime rowdy roddy piper oh okay who were some of the influences of, of your career growing up man like what like you as a wrestler who do you, who do you kind of try to model? Do you try to model yourself after someone, or like who was it for you that you really like help mold your career? Basically, well, I I wanted to stand out and be different, but I would say Piper is definitely just his intensity, the fact that oh, he yeah, man. bring the fight, and you know he wasn't always you know necessarily one that was like you know Bret Hart that was just a technical wizard, but he always was able to be still technically sound, yes. intense, and he could uh, hit you in the face and basically do whatever is necessary yeah. to, to keep the crowd and show that intensity and make you really believe that he's getting into a fight and he's going to do whatever it takes to win. And so uh, I don't want to give the easy answer. I just, I just said Piper. No, sure. Yeah. He, no, he, yeah. he was a huge influence on my career. And uh, I'd say that's one of my biggest regrets in wrestling. He's never getting a chance to beat him and thank him for it. But 
uh, I still watch uh, his tapes often and I still, uh, you know, think about, you know, all the stuff that he did over the years. And yeah. I'd say he was definitely a big influence on me. Let's talk more about Derby City Wrestling. That's, that's why we're here, right? It, it, what is it about Derby City Wrestling that you've really kind of enjoyed so far? I know it's still a real young promotion, but what do you think of, that kind of sets this place apart from others? Well, just seeing the just the energy backstage. I mean, the people that you have putting together the show. I mean, Hustler Rip Rogers, he hasn't been a part of anything for many years. Right, yeah. him actually step back into, you know, the uh, – the, the wrestling community, so to speak, and be a part of this. Just you can tell there's a lot of really great energy, people that want to grow something new and take ownership of it. I think that's a really cool part is this is something that's brand new. It's something that really hasn't found its, uh, you know, molded itself into what it's going to be yet. We're currently molding it and making it into our own thing. And I think that's the really cool part is we're really able to grow this and mold it to our own thing and make it unique and special and something really cool. And I think that's the fun part of it. Well, we appreciate you taking the time, uh, Ted, to speak with me yeah, here really tonight. And uh, guys, come out to Derby City Wrestling. You guys can watch Ted McNaylor here and a ton of other great talent here uh, on the west end of Louisville. Uh, it's great to finally have a different flavor, if you will, right? Yeah. And uh, it's a brand-new promotion. Come check it out. You guys are going to actually watch a few uh, clips of the show here in a little bit from tonight. And uh, thank you, guys. Thanks, Ted. We'll see you. So we're inside the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center. <laughs> and you got a big crowd waiting to get in for, uh, for Derby City Wrestling tonight. So yeah, looking good. Looking like a nice crowd. I can't tell. Oh, this, that, line is, that line is back there. All right. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see it.
Well, that's our coverage of Derby City Wrestling, and we hope you guys enjoyed checking out what Derby City Wrestling has to offer. It's really great to finally have another promotion in Louisville, especially over in Louisville's West End. If you're ever in the Louisville area and you happen to be there during a weekend uh, and they're having a show, definitely go check them out. I highly recommend it. I'm going to be putting some links below to where you can go and find Derby City Wrestling on their social media as well as their website. And that way you can get some information on an upcoming episode or taping, rather, of Derby City Wrestling. I want to give a big shout out to Derby City Wrestling and the fine talent that is there and those that took the time to speak with us, such as Aaron Williams, Omega D, and Ted McNaylor. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to speak with us and uh, tell us how you came to be a part of Derby City Wrestling. For more pro wrestling, video game, uh, movies, conventions, and, and all sorts of other coverage, please be sure to subscribe to us here on the domain. And let me know in the comments below. If you happen to attend a Derby City Wrestling show, I know they're, they're still very young. They haven't had too many shows yet. But and, well, let me know in the comments below. And uh, let me know if there's any other promotions too you'd like to see us cover here on the domain. Until next time, I'll see you guys.